Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I wanted to share a super quick tutorial on how to repair a broken strap on a snowboard binding. This was a bit of a challenge doing myself. I've had two of these straps break on me in the last few years now. So I did want to share a quick tutorial on how you can repair it super quick, super easy, and where you get these straps. So my broken strap was actually on the toe piece and what happened was it broke really close to where it connects to the physical binding. It is quite hard to remove depending on what mechanism you have. Different bindings have slightly different mechanisms mechanisms, but for the most part you're going to have this kind of small ball mechanism that kind of locks into place and you need to push it out through the bottom of the binding. So typically you'll have to remove your binding from the board and then find a leverage point so you can actually apply enough pressure to push this out. I find it easy, it was, it worked easiest when I jostled the actual binding back and forth and also when I pried up from the bottom um, with a screwdriver to make room for the nodule on the one side to actually lift out of the binding. Um, it took me a few back and forths and some hard reefing. Be careful not to injure yourself because it's easy to uh, slip with your screwdriver or with your pliers and actually cut your hand. Um, but then finally, after some jiggling and wiggling, I did get the old strap out of the binding and was able to easily put a new strap in just by threading it from the bottom and then giving it a couple back and forths to lock it in place. One of the biggest challenges with replacing these guys is it's hard to find a new strap uh, that you can buy by itself. There's a lot of different kits out there that kind of come with a whole different parts, but finding one strap by itself was really challenging. What I ended up doing is actually going to one of the local ski shops um, called Comor based in Vancouver and they did just literally give me a new toe strap for free, which was really nice of them, um, just out of their inventory kits. Um, but what I also ended up purchasing was, uh, these bindings are Spark R&D Magneto uh, bindings for split boarding. And I purchased a backcountry kit, which essentially comes with a whole bunch of different screws, uh, ankle pieces, essentially everything on this binding, it comes in the kit, the different ratchets. So if anything now breaks, I'll have a kit to easily replace it. And the biggest annoyance is when you're in the middle of winter and you wanna go snowboarding and something snaps on you and it takes, it's gonna take a weeks or a month to actually get one of these stupid parts. You wanna just be able to fix it instantly. So that's where this kit really comes in handy. And if I'm ever in the backcountry and need a spare part, um, I can bring a few of these extra pieces with me. So I'll link to this backcountry kit uh, in the video description below, but otherwise if you have a different brand of bindings, you do want to make sure that the different straps and pieces do fit before you uh, purchase them. That's it for this video guys. Super quick, super simple tutorial. Hope it helped if you were having trouble replacing a strap on your bindings. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot them in the video description below. Otherwise, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel and have a great day. Peace.